So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the amazing final chord sequence at the end of First Circle by Pat Metheny and Lyle Mays, 1984. So when you go back to the beginning of First Circle, what you have is just the band clapping uh, the rhythmic pattern invented by Pat Metheny. Da, 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 da. At the end of the piece, we have the same pattern, but this time every clap is lit with a different shade of harmony. So a key element in this final sequence of chords is the idea of mixture of modes. In music, mixture of modes is when we use in the same sequence chords from the major from the minor So to understand the effect of modal mixture, let me play you a sequence that doesn't have any mixture in it. It is called the rule of the octave. So as far as I know, the name Rule of the Octave was given to this progression during the Baroque era, the time of Johann Sebastian Bach. And there are two things to notice about it. First is the stepwise motion in the bass. And the second thing is the fact that we are getting back to E, to the tonic, with this leading chord, the dominant B, B7. So to understand what's happening at the end of First Circle with that chord sequence, let's look first at the ending of another tune from the same album titled Praise. So the harmonic color of the main part of Praise is very much the harmonic color of the rule of the octave. We start. Now the final turnaround, starting from the tonic. And this is coming from the minor. Here again.
I want you to notice that this sequence doesn't end on the dominant that takes us back to the tonic. Instead, it ends on the sixth degree of the minor. To me, it's, it's a kind of a question mark at the end of this phrase. And it's as though in the middle of all the joy, there is a shadow of sadness. And this is why we love this band. So what we have at the end of first circle is a mixture. We got chords coming from the key of G major, from the parallel key of G minor, and we got a guest chord coming from the Phrygian mode. Let's see. So from G major, from the key of G major, we got the chords G major, the second degree, A minor seven, the sixth degree, E minor seven, now, from the key of a G minor, we got the fourth degree, C minor seven. We got the sixth degree, E flat major seven. The third degree, B flat major seven. And we also got F major. G. Mixture F, C minor, E flat minor, back to G major with the second degree, A minor, back to G, and then from the Phrygian mode, A flat, going to E, and to B flat. The second thing I would like you to notice is that same as in praise, when we're done with the sequence and we're going back to G, we're not doing it with a leading chord D7, the dominant. We're not going. The last chord be before the G is this B flat. Listen to that again. You know, to me, this sequence of chords at the end of first circle doesn't sound like a chord progression at all. When I hear the, these chords in real time, they sort of blend together into this one big thing, into one extremely rich home chord. And it must be the most colorful and the most beautiful home chord I ever heard in my entire life.